guys welcome back to my channel so today i want to show you guys my go-to makeup look everyone always asks me um, about this look on instagram and in your comments on youtube and i just thought today i will show you guys i also want to show you guys what i use to get clear skin because these are things that everyone's been asking me a lot about so if you guys want to see this then please carry on watching so recently my skin has broken out and i think it's just like change of weather i got this devoe love face scrub every time that my face breaks out like it has here i start using this it really cleans deep within my skin and my face clears up i'm going to use this now i've tied my hair back um, but I want to tell you guys about this because a lot of people keep asking me how I've got clear skin and this is my go-to. This and I'll show you guys my Neutrogena Refreshing Clear. not even expensive, it's always on offer in super dry or in boots and it's so good. One time I bought it because I'd run out of my Clinique. I've stopped using Clinique ever since I bought this. First of all, make sure you wash it because you don't want to have it dirty and be rubbing dirt So guys, so excuse the mess in the background. I'm literally updating my phone and I'm trying to transfer information from one phone to another and you know how it is, it's so hard. First of all, I need to moisturize my lips. You guys, I love this. It's from Sephora and it's actually a lip scrub, but I use it every day as a lip balm. Look, it's got like sugar bits on there. So the first thing that I use that I love is the La Mer eye cream. I love this eye cream. It's one of my expensive purchases, but I literally swear by it. And then I'm going to moisturize my face. I also use the La Mer moisturizer. I take about this much, dab it on my fingers, because that's when it activates and then stop tapping it into my face. So what I want to tell you guys that was really good about Ola face wash is that A, it's really good for anti-aging as well as cleaning your skin for spots and so on. And also on top of it all, I have a problem where I grind my teeth a lot. And when I use this at night time, I really feel that it relaxes my jaw and the jaw muscles. I'm doing this look because I'm going to be recording a YouTube video or setting up the Christmas tree. So I wanna look pretty while doing it. So this is the Kat Von D concealer and the color is M23 Cool. Might as well put my foundation on as well. My foundation is the NARS foundation, uh, in natural radiant longwear foundation, and this color is the Sahel. And then I get my beauty blender. This is actually not a beauty blender. It is from Real Techniques, and it's one of the best out there. It's a fraction of the price compared to the beauty blender. I think like the beauty blender is 17 to 20 pounds, and this is like 6.99. You can also get this Maybelline concealer. This is also an amazing concealer. And the color that I've got in this is light. I also have it in nude, I believe. Yes, which is running out nude, which is a little bit darker. But honestly, this is amazing as well. And I think it's like $9.99. So it's a lot cheaper than Kat Von D. Okay, so because I have an oily T-zone, I always like to slightly set my makeup. I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I take my beauty blender and put it inside this and just tab it under my eyes because it really stops under my eyes from getting crease line. And then also I put it on my forehead. But And whatever I have remaining, I just dab 
on my face rather than my usual stick contour stick that i use from fenty beauty and this is in the color truffle i am going to use the anastasia beverly hills contour kit um, in light to medium as you could see i really love this a lot um, i use it all the time and i'm going to use this color here take any brush i've just taken a normal foundation brush this is actually from uh, real techniques and i'm going to dab it in here and just go on my cheek line Just a little bit under my lip to make it look bit bigger, tip of my nose. And just whatever's remaining on the brush, I'm just going to go around my forehead. Don't worry you guys, you can blend all this in properly once you take your brush and you blend it. The sheer loose powder and then just around my jawline. Make sure you blend it down your neck otherwise you're gonna have a different color neck compared to your face i'm going to blend it all in just with a normal blending brush i don't know what brand this is i got this brush from super drug it's just one of their normal i think it's like a super drug brand like unicorn or something but i'm gonna blend everything in now just very lightly and gently So guys, as this is not a full-on makeup look like you're going clubbing or something and it's just an everyday makeup quick you want to pop to the shops, I am going to use my bronzer which is from Becca. Se Sebi got me this bronzer and it's literally finished. I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush and just put a little bit on top of my eyelid. I'm not going to go in with full eyeshadow because remember it's every day and then from this side of the brush as you could tell I'm going to just dab it and put it under my eyes I've got eyelash extensions as you could tell um, this eye is near enough empty now it's all falling and I have to go back to get my eyelashes done I just haven't had time I'm gonna put on a little bit of eyeliner i'm using the sephora liquid eyeliner this is in black ink i'm just going to give myself a little quick wing eyeliner Now I'm using the Sephora eye pencil. This is a glide liner in waterproof black. And I'm just literally putting some eyeliner within my top eyelid. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, mascara on. As I was saying, I normally probably wouldn't have done all this, but I wanna hide the fact that I've got a lot of eyelashes missing on this eye. So I am using the Rimmel Scandalous Eyes Mascara and I love this mascara because look at this brush, it's so good. And I'm just going on top of my fake lashes with this mascara just to kind of highlight my natural lashes to show that there are some sort of lashes there. <laughs> I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to apply my lip liner. This lip liner is from Sephora and it is in the color number 41, Vintage Rosewood. I just literally have my eyebrows left and I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Express Eyebrows for you and I'm also using this brow brush that I got from Superdrug it's just one of their own brands nothing special brush your eyebrows upwards in upward motion
finally I'm going to bronze my face I'm using the Real Techniques 100 brush and also my Becca bronzer and I'm just going to go over everywhere that I contoured Okay, you guys, so this is the look. I hope you guys like this look. It's just my go-to makeup look that I love so much. And you don't really need that many items to get this look. So that's why I love it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And you guys, if you don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I am at Persian Honey and I love you all dearly.